Yay, we're going to the farm, everybody. <laughs> rip, by the way. Rip. <laughs> rip. <laughs> rip Alan Rickman. He was great. Yes, Look, indeed, everybody. Poopy cows. You know what? Ever since I moved to Florida and, uh -huh. and I noticed all the cows around here and uh -huh. stuff, I really, really wanted to try to pet a cow. And part of me still does. <laughs> but, but, um... I know the story I'm, about... I'm, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry, hang on, hang on, give me a second. So, what you're saying is, when you got to Florida, the first thing you noticed was cut the cows. Yes. No, that wasn't not the maybe, first... That was not, not the first not maybe, thing I noticed. Not, not maybe all of the alligators or something. Actually, one of the first things she noticed was love bugs. <laughs> Yeah, Those it, things are horrible. No, and they terrified me. They are horrible creatures. It's it's like when you hear about love bugs, you think, oh, why why would you be afraid of those? Love bugs sounds kind of sweet. But then you see that they're Bottoms. they're attached to each other forever and ever until mm -hmm. they die. And it's like, what, oh what? god, get away from me! Yep. They're they they're supposed yep. to be like a more effective version of ladybugs, I guess. A more effective version. Effective version. Effective in what? In getting rid of aphids. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, because you, you told me that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Because they brought them, they they uh, they brought them to the country, uh, or to the whatever to to the, the state, not the country, but they brought them to the mm -hmm. state because uh, they eat aphids. And the farmer's like, oh yeah, we should we'll use those to get rid of. Um, Let's see. Oh, maybe I can, oh, I think I can get rid of. Oh, I, oh, I got to knock the rat out of the way. Yeah, and then they started breeding. Anyway, yeah, they, they they can get rid of aphids for us, but then these things breed and they just they well they breed like rabbits, as the expression mm -hmm. goes. And they they're everywhere. They're these horrible, nasty little bugs. Mm -hmm. When I first told <laughs> when I first told Jasmine about um, love bugs. Yeah, I was flabbergasted, and I thought she was how like, could they you sound hate so that? cute. I was talking told her about how much I hate them. I was like, they sound cute. It's like no. They are awful. Like, how can you hate anything with a cute name like Love Bug? Just wait and see. <laughs> and they, um, uh, another another invasive species that's here in Florida that I'm that I'm aware of. It's it's elsewhere in the states too. Um, the apple snail, and um, they're huge. Yeah, they, well, I mean, they get as big as an apple, from mm -hmm. what I understand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a name. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hello, but, I've but, returned. <laughs> oh, you, wait, you left? Uh, hi. I, I was muted because my mom got home and I wanted to stay. I, I couldn't. I, I had her over here, but I didn't want to interrupt the conversation because I was going to have mom say hi. Right. Aww, also, my dog sweet. from my room. My, I gave my dog a jar of peanut butter if you want to watch. It's Aww. very funny. We can't watch we at the can't moment. We can't watch because I'm streaming the game. Yeah, he's, he's, trying, yeah. To, he's trying to <laughs> play through. I'm here, sorry. Here. This is the jar of peanut butter. That's the top. There but you I'm, go. <laughs> Connor, we can't She's... look at it. I'm, sorry. I know, I'm giving it back to the dog because she dropped it, and I didn't oh. want her to get oh. peanut butter on the floor. Oh, you were Fair talking to, to the dog. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. She is going Bless nuts you. On that. Uh, thank you. Uh, anyway, what I was saying about cows before is um, <laughs> cows when... are heckin' big. Yeah. Yes, they are. Oh, they they cows are indeed heckin' big. They huge milk makers. <laughs> but anyway, um, I almost feel like I should censor that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Never mind. Hello, it's me, your friendly I... neighborhood uh, belated censorship man. <laughs> I, like, I I think uh, I think uh, McNabbit got why I made the censorship joke. Uh, <laughs> I'll explain later. No, I know why. <laughs> You're the one who made it dirty. It was funny. No. No, he didn't no. make it dirty. He made it dairy. <laughs> I made it dirty. Yeah. We're gonna have to censor out this whole part. No, because that was way too funny. Okay. <laughs> um. But any, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, as I was trying to say, like, hours ago, mm. practically. <laughs> um, yes, see, we get it. Cows are big. No, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and they poop a lot. Yeah, they shut do. up and let me tell the story, okay, Matt! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm, just, just I'm sorry for saying so. Well, folks, you. that's all. That's all we have got time for today. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no! <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to pet a cow um, shortly after I moved to Florida and stuff, because, like... <laughs> after you moved? <laughs> yeah, after you moved. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm about to kill I'm gonna someone. Be quiet. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet now before I'm, Mom I'm gets spelled. I'm about to commit a murder. <laughs> Just let me finish the story. <laughs> 
So you wanted to pet a cow. And I... <laughs> Dang it, McDonald's, you distracted me so bad! You wanted to pet a cow. Tell your story. Yeah, okay, I wanted to pet a cow. This could be remixed into a song. I wanted to pet a cow. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, um, and then I, after, um, after, like, dur during this one time when um, we were dropping the kids off someplace, um, we, were on, we were on a road trip. And we were Some driving. Some place into... they never returned from. <laughs> well, well, more or less, but. <laughs> so... Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're fine. They're fine. Trust me. But um, so it's like. Uh, sure. If... Stop it! Let as, me tell them. As fine as they can be. Oh my gosh, I, I'm getting dizzy. I'm trying to finish my story here. You guys keep interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to pet a cow, and the kid said something while you were driving. Yeah. Or I was driving. You yeah, because yeah, and and um, they happened to notice oh. that there was a cow that pooped on another cow's head, <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, that's funny!" And I'm like, "Oh, I shouldn't ever pet a cow, should I?" <laughs> so ah! th that's all I was going to share. Oh my gosh, it was blood. It's it was pizza sauce. Oh, it was. Pizza sauce. Pizza sauce. Pizza sauce. There was a bone all... sticking out of his back. Oh, then it was a it was a pizza with bones. <laughs> And I get a. Uh, that you bone. Got, I'm got, sorry. That you, that pizza needs an X-ray. You got boneless. You, you got boneless pizza. Yes. Let me introduce you to. Uh, you got boneless chicken. Now it, let me introduce you to boneless pizza. <laughs> right. I mean, technically, boneless pizza is all pizza. Right. Yeah. From, but, from, well, have you never seen the boneless pizza video? It's. Oh, know, that's actually a, that's actually a thing. Why? What? Wait, what? I know the I, I know the boneless chicken, but not boneless pizza. Oh no! It's a, it's a YouTube video. Oh dear. Oh no! That sounds oh, yucky. <laughs> that sounds yucky. Where are my bones <laughs> and my pizza? Anyway, we're not commenting on the game very much. In general, no, you guys can watch it. Oh look, he's getting a pizza. As long as the conversation. <laughs> I love how everyone always remarks that. Every time he goes out the door, everyone's like, he's taking a pee. He just ha he had to rush to the bathroom so badly, and then he had to take a pee, and he's like, that was a very nice pee. <laughs> I could have pee with the best of them. <laughs> that was a very nice tinkle. <laughs> Waiter! 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 There's no bones in my pizza. Please change that immediately. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, you're I buying outfits. outfits. Yeah. Oh, you're changing your outfits. I want the... There we go. Uh, um, that's your classic one. No, it's got little polka dots on it. Oh, it what does? are those floating uh, buttholes? What, what's that? <laughs> I love how everyone says that. They look like. <laughs> They're supposed to be eyeballs, but They're I like call them buttholes eyes. too. Yeah. Eyeballs? Oh god, yeah, they, they look like scorched out eyeballs. <laughs> Do you have to censor that? Every level, every level has three secret rooms, and the secret room has like an eye in it. And so when you find the secret room, the eye is open in front of the uh, like the doorway to that level to show that you found it. <sighs> mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, see me. Wait, Fudge, did I ever take, did I ever take the ibuprofen? I don't. No. I hope the audience brought lots of ibuprofen. Oh. Ibuprofen. No, but seriously, if I, <laughs> why did you say it that way? If I already That's did take SpongeBob. ibuprofen, then I can't take any more, because then that'll be way too much for my system. Darn it! <laughs> I I want to I want to take some because I have a toothache. Whoa! Hang on. <laughs> I like. Is he took just him. skateboarding on that? <laughs> yeah. I, was like, I like that it took McNobbits a minute to figure out what he was seeing there. What? Yeah. What am I seeing? What, like, am I, what are my eyes perceiving? Just, just your average what, day at the graveyard. It's, yeah, it's like one of those, you know, some of those like haunted graveyard levels you get in video games. And uh, so this one, this one uh, has uh, there's like uh, bodies like sticking out of the graves, and you have to you have to like surf on them. He's Whee! just mad sledding on that. <laughs> Jump into the eyeball. Yeah. That's also gotta hurt. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, Imagine doesn't. getting it. Bless getting you, a... but imagine imagine getting a small Italian man stuck in your eye. <laughs> I was going to say Dog. getting a fat Italian in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you meant getting when, surfed on. When Pepito gets your eye like a bigger pizza. 
Oh no, it should be changed. It should be like pizza when, more. No, I was gonna say when a man hits a your eye like a bigger pizza pie. That's Pepino. Pepino. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> oh, you're six feet under now. Yep. Wee. Oh, whoops. Jeez. I gotta get to oh. the mm. Thank goodness you don't take uh, damage in this game. Mm -hmm. That is very, very nice. Wait. You cannot die? No, it's uh, it's like the later WarioWare game, or Wario Land games. Like, you know how, like, you know, in Wario Land, Wario doesn't actually have, like, a health bar, um, but, like, getting attacked will have, like, mm. other punishments for you. Or getting Wait, attacked may even wall. actually result in, like, a power-up sort of state where, like, you know, if something mm. squishes you, then you can, like, squeeze underneath, like, you know, little areas like that there or something, you know. Matthew, you gotta destroy the wall! I don't know how. Oh, wait, no, I know how. What am I thinking? Hold on. There. I don't know. What are you thinking? Oh, I, okay. Maybe that doesn't Yeah, that, go, go, up high, go back up that, on the higher ledge. Uh -huh. Go, go, that go that, under there. That look, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> Everything in Pizza Tower looks like it hurt. Oh, you were supposed to yep. jump at that last minute. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, okay. Let's hey. try it one more time. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know why we're wasting so much time uh, getting this one pizza top. Uh, you gotta have cheese on okay, your this pizza. Is the real one. This Wait, is the you real already one. have cheese. This is the real one. Get the oh, cheese! Oh, no! Never mind. Okay. The cheese can go Wait, die. I... The cheese did die. See, there it is. <laughs> Ghost. That's the only that's a dead pizza. And that's not did boneless just... pizza there. That's a, that's did a you dead just chicken. A... Did you just abandon the cheese? I did How abandon the cheese. How could you? That sounds, I've got enough cheese. That that almost sounds like something you would say in reference to a fart. <laughs> Abandon the cheese. <laughs> I don't know what exactly that would translate to, but <laughs> it sounds like you. Wait, oh. no, go go save go save your salami friend or whatever. It, oh, can you imagine that? Oh man, who abandoned the cheese? <laughs> It's like the stinkiest cheese in the world. Dude, that reminds me of... Okay, so like... Um, the, oh, the, no. The, the, no, no. The, 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 <laughs> like, the, the Game Grumps made up their own uh, character a uh, uh, few years back named David Cheeseman. They, oh, yes. they were sculpting um, uh, giant blocks of cheese. And they um, eventually... They made a face out of it. Yeah, they, they eventually came up with a character named David Cheeseman. And um, they, they had him forever and i think um like he, he's gotten to the point where he's molding and probably has a million diseases now but they still <laughs> have him a million diseases yes he, like he's so rancid uh, dude i went to i was i almost got i actually got to see david cheeseman in person before i did what? but he was he was contained she lived she when she was in california she lived about like an hour away from where um technically more like Two hours, when I two hours? Me, that's not Something just like a that. character they made up. They actually let a cheese rot for that long. Yes, yes. they did. They absolutely oh, did. Oh god! Yeah, you can find videos of it on the Ten Minute Power Hour. Bloody hell! Yeah, it's it's funny though. It's funny. <laughs> I don't. I'm not and sure if God them, agrees that it's funny. And seeing them suffer, it's fun too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if that's your thing, I guess. <laughs> What can I say? I'm a sadist. <laughs> You're a Mercedes? Uh, what she said, what can I say? I'm a sadist. <laughs> Why did you think I was a, I said I was a Mercedes? <laughs> I mean, broom, broom, am I right? <laughs> you know, that reminds me, there's a really funny joke. I know some people, like, complain it, in, um... <laughs> what, what time was it? This would have been, like, the late 90s. Um, Fo the Fox Family Channel had a new version of The Addams Family that came out, and most people didn't like it. I thought it was pretty funny. I thought it lived up to the goofy, you know, nature of the original Addams Family sitcom. It's the pizza but, time! Um, a lot of people didn't like it, but for whatever reason, there's there's one uh, there's one episode with a joke that I always remember finding really funny, is um, in one episode, like, this bank robber or whatever breaks into their home... And, um, of course, you know, the Adams family are like, oh, look, we have a guest. Like, they're completely oblivious to the mm -hmm. fact that this guy's evil. Oh, my and, goodness. And um, then when they figure out that he's a bank robber, uh -huh. um, they're like, you know, we need to call, oh, the, we need to call no! the police. And uh, so, he, he, so they can't tell anyone. He ties them all up. And as he's tying up Uncle Fester, <laughs> Uncle Fester <laughs> is complaining. No! Oh, 
Oh, thank God. Uncle Fester's complaining. These ropes aren't nearly tight enough. I can still feel the I can still feel the circulation in my heart or something. And the guy says something like, "What are you? Some kind of masochist?" And Uncle Fester just grins and goes, third degree black belt." Whoa. <laughs> I love that. It's, it's just a really funny joke. <laughs> oh, 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 Carol, Carol, he's about to get you. He's about to get you. Yeah, there we go. Ah! Hey, guys, I'm going to have to hop off. Oh, I okay. discovered a few problems oh. with Merdok's lore. Oh, no. Oh, no. That a friend made me uh, alert to. Uh-huh. Oh, goodness. And they're going to, they've said that because they love my premise so much, they want to help me correct it. Oh, and sure. so I, I need to focus on that right yeah, now. Yeah, you got to make sure your comic's working out right now. You go do that, I, sir. I don't want it to absolutely break continuity. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's my big... There, I have to adhere to two different continuities without deviation, and that's right, very that's not difficult. Easy to do, yeah. oh but isn't that, isn't, that, isn't that pretty on par for anything Doctor Who re related, though? Well, oh, yes well, and no. The thing, I mean, the thing is, is my original it. premise is set in a very fixed point that would be very hard to have it turn out any w different than the way it did. Right. Well, say, so Doctor I have to Who completely rewrite shows. the scenario in which the story starts. So Yeah. Say, Doctor so Who would just say... So huh? what you're saying is it's all wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> yes. Literally, nice. quite literally, yes. But well, my friend found a solution in a uh, pre New Who thing. But uh, oh, nice. Nice. New Who. New like Who. The, the, the that's what they called, series, they called the Doctor you know. Who in the 2005 reboot. I see. <laughs> new Who. They called, they called just, uh, the oh. 90s Doctor Who to be old Who, and then not in 10, 11, 12, 13. Wouldn't that be 14, the 60s 15, Doctor Who? It started in the 60s. Well, no, that's New Who. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like to think that Doctor like, who, who is secretly from Whosville. <laughs> <laughs> who, are you who are you talking about? New Who or Old Who? <laughs> all, who all the Who's. <laughs> Woo Who. And, oh, and in the end, it is Yahoo! Doctor Who? Yes, you're quite right. <laughs>